Hello everybody, my name is Alicia and I want to talk about zero waste. So I've been starting to incorporate more of a zero waste lifestyle into my life and I wanted to share with you some pointers and what even zero waste means and why you would want to do it. So the first thing is that zero waste means that we try not to produce any garbage and anything that goes into landfills. There is a thing that we call, it's the five R's, and it is we refuse what we do not need, reduce what we do need, reuse what you consume, recycle what you cannot refuse, and rot, so that means compost. And that is just the basic guidelines for how to start incorporating zero waste into your life. So why go zero waste? Did you know that there's enough plastic produced each year to go around the world four times? Four times? That's a lot of plastic, guys! We currently only recover 5% of plastic that we use and it takes 500 to 1000 years for plastic to degrade. Plastic also constitutes approximately 90% of all trash floating on our ocean surface. There is even an area in our Pacific Ocean that is so filled with trash, it is estimated to be twice the size of Texas. That's insane! This causes a huge impact on our wildlife. One million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed annually because of plastic on our ocean surface. But not only is it horrible for our wildlife, it is also horrible for our health because we absorb everything that we put on it. And apparently 93% of Americans tested positive for BPA. And that is one of the most used chemicals in most of our plastic. So now that I gave you some little inspiration and info on what is happening in our environment and why you would wanna go zero waste, let's get into what you can do about it. So the first thing I would say is when you're going grocery shopping, bring reusable bags so we don't waste those plastic bags. And also, other little bags kind of like this to put your produce in because we all know we use a lot of those little tiny bags. The second thing is buying in bulk. So when you go out, instead of buying rice where you usually buy rice in like plastic bags, you would just bring your own reusable jars and go to places that you can buy in bulk and fill it up. Another thing is try to start buying the things you used to buy in glass, let's say. So instead of buying tomatoes in cans, buy it in glass and then you can always reuse this when you go for bulk items or you make kombucha or something. As for in the morning, if you're used to getting coffee, if you bring your own coffee mugs to let's say Starbucks, I know they do this, you can just ask them to put coffee in your own mug so you're not obviously using all their paper cups. And you can always do the same thing with smoothies at smoothie places in case that's what you want. And obviously, as we all know, bring your reusable water bottle. Bring your own utensils around with you for when you're taking takeout because disposable utensils generate 100 tons of waste per person annually in the US. So it's always obviously better to bring your own spoon and fork and chopsticks if that's what you use around with you and honestly I've been doing that for a while now and it's great because if you're going to the grocery store and let's say you buy a watermelon and you just want to eat it right away if you already have your knife with you and your spoon you're all set and preachy fun and if you do end up using plastic make sure to find plastic that is either P-E-T-E -E or P-H PE, I hope I got that right, but I'll leave it down below because certain plastics aren't biodegradable and these ones are. And you can always look at the plastic and it'll say underneath it what kind of plastic they use in making it. As for clothing, start living more minimally and maybe buy stuff secondhand at a thrift store so that we don't produce more clothing. We have so much clothing that even the thrift stores don't know what to do with it and they send it to poor countries and even then there's just so much and it's just wasting away. There's a documentary called The True Cost that talks about fast fashion which is basically H&M, Forever 21, Joe Fresh, places like that where where you're basically supporting child labor. As for another tip for clothing, instead of buying things that are cheap, which support child labor, you buy one expensive item that you know is fair trade and you know it's very good and it will last you longer and in the end you'll save money. So one of the things that I did start doing 
to really realize what I do throw away is looking in your garbage. So that might sound a bit dirty, but honestly your garbage tells you exactly everything that you throw away. So start looking in there and composting was such a big thing for me. Our house, we started producing less garbage because we composted most of it. So we used to every week have, let's say, two garbage bags and just by composting we only had one. Maybe you can check if your area supports compost. So if it's winter somewhere like we are right now, we can put the compost in our garden. So what we do is we put it out and then the city handles it and composts it, composts it for us. As for shampoo, you can always buy shampoo bars for your hair so you're not obviously buying huge shampoo things and I bought mine at Lush but you could also buy soap in bulk for cleaning and whatnot and for cosmetics you can actually make your own mascara a few little things I can just suggest right now is for lipstick you can just cut a bead and put on your lips and it stains it so that's one thing another thing that I'm going to do a video on is you can make your own mascara by cooking almonds if you like crafting and recipes then I think that whole like making your own cosmetics is pretty interesting but if you don't want to give it up because you just feel like you need to cover your blemishes or anything one of the good things about trying to live a zero waste lifestyle is that you have clear skin and you become healthy and that is not exactly like a given everyone is biochemically individual and your hormone levels maybe not might might not get fixed by just eating healthier but Usually when you eat healthier, your skin does clear up. Most things that are processed are packaged. So since you won't be buying anything packaged, you will have a healthier body. So there's so much more I can talk about, but I'll leave it to all the beautiful, waste-free living families and other people that have posted online. And I'll leave all the links below. There's a bunch of documentaries and there's a really nice TED talk by Lauren Singer that I loved watching and you can follow her journey and some blogs that can really help you get some tips on starting your zero ways life. So I hope that this video was kind of inspirational and helped you see a new light into our environment and our world and our wildlife because I think that it's pretty interesting to know what's happening out there and to start getting yourself on the nice and the good wagon, whatever this means. So leave me any comments below if you have any things you want to talk about or you have any suggestions or want to ask me more questions. I'm still transitioning so sometimes it happens where I go to the grocery store and I say oh I forgot my produce bags or I forgot this. So there is there is like a learning and a practicing um, transition phase. But leave me any comments below. I love you all. If you like this video, like and subscribe so that I know to make more videos like this. I love you. Chan Rakan. Je t'aime.